Hey guys, welcome back to Burns' Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to find the perimeter of a rectangle using variables. I'm pretty sure you guys all know how to find the perimeter of a rectangle using just simply numbers. So in order to find the perimeter of a rectangle, you have to add all the sides together. So what if you have variables? Well, you're going to use the same way. You're going to use the same method, okay? So you have to add all the sides together. So first, it's important to know all of the measurements of each of the sides. So we have been given two measurements here. And we know that in a rectangle, there are two pairs of parallel lines. And so both of these are of the same measurement. So these two lines are of the same measurement. And these two lines are of the same measurement. So if we know that this blue line here is x plus 4, then it has to be x plus 4 over here as well. So this would also be x plus 4. And if this one in the, in the pink is x, then this also has to be x. So in order to find the perimeter of this rectangle, all we have to do now is add all of these together. So we have x. We have another x, we have an x plus 4, and we have another x plus 4. But one thing we forgot to do is add the sign. Since perimeter is adding all the sides together, we have to add all of these sides together. So we have to do x plus x plus x plus 4 and plus x plus 4. So the first thing you need to do in order to add these together is to combine like terms. So we have to put the variables together and the numbers together. So we see that our variable is x. And we have how many x's? Well, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 x's. So in our answer, we will have 4x plus, since this is adding, and then we have a positive 4 and a positive 4, which give us a positive 8. So we get 4x plus 8, which is our perimeter. Now, this could be our perimeter, but what if we know the value of x? So let's say that the value of x is 9. So if you plug in the value as 9, we'll have to do 4 times 9 plus 8. So 4 times 9 is 36 plus 8, which gives us 44. So that means the perimeter of this rectangle is 44. Let's say if this was in centimeters, it would be 44 centimeters. All right, that's all I have for this video. I hope you guys learned how to find the perimeter of rectangles using variables, and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye.